Hello YouTube, it's PSU Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lot. So in today's video, I'll be giving you my full frank review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Without further ado, before we get into the video, this is just my own opinion and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Yeah, that being said, let's jump into my review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, this game is a game from Treyarch and unfortunately it's not got a single player campaign which I'm kind of a bit disappointed in because this is the first Call of Duty since 2003 that doesn't include a single player campaign. Now I can totally see why Activision and also Treyarch have done this is because they've got stats that have said that only like 10% of players actually finish the single player part of the game. It makes sense from a business point of view I, I, I guess that if you're spending 6 months solidly every year making a single player campaign putting a lot of time, manpower, effort, energy and money into a campaign that isn't seen by the majority of your player base, Thutton isn't right, but at the same time they should not be alienating the players that enjoy playing the single player campaign. Now as a single player type player, I'm missing the single player campaign. I really have enjoyed single player campaigns from older Call of Duties like COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, they three games stand out because these three games had absolutely fantastic single player campaigns absolutely loved to play the single player campaign as soon as the game came out and also in between stints and playing multiplayer I would like to play multiplayer get bored of that go jump onto the single player campaign and see how the story unfolds but with this game there's nothing that ties it together and the fact that there's nothing that ties it together it's just well it's just three random modes that don't really make any sense on their own and also collectively so I really think they've missed a trick here by not including the single player or some sort of single player campaign but that's just my own opinion let's jump into my review so we're going to be talking about my pros and cons of the standard Call of Duty multiplayer we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of the new Battle Royale mode Blackout and finally we're going to end with the zombies portion of the game now I have played a lot of multiplayer in my time and also in this game going into this game Black Ops 4 my expectations were very low but was hopefully thinking that I was with slight optimism here based on the previous games that this game would be good now Black Ops 1 and 2 multiplayer were absolutely fantastic really addicted to them games but the Black Ops 3 I just didn't appeal to me really because one that had the specialist and had lots of wall running and sliding and futuristic movement which I just could not stand happy to report all that wall running and booster packs and boost jumps are all gone in Black Ops 4 but the Black Ops 3 specialists have returned in Black Ops 4. Now for anyone that doesn't know what the specialists are, so it's basically like the characters in Overwatch. So basically each character has its own special weapon or ability that can be used in the multiplayer game. Now, issue with this is, in previous Call of Duties, you had to be semi-decent in order to get the higher weapon by being a higher level just by playing the game by progressing and also in order to get the higher kill streaks you have to go on like a 10-15 kill streak in order to unlock the higher tier kill streaks basically so my issue with this is no matter what your skill level and especially if you're a new player anybody can be good or anybody can have a good game because they just literally hand you over the special ability or weapon every single game. Now, everyone gets this chance and opportunity to use their special weapon every game, but it's sort of just giving people that special item or ability just on a plate, on a, on a silver platter, and there's no like hard work that has to go in to get that item. So that's why I don't like the specialists. I just think it's not very well done. Some people might say, oh, it makes it, it, people play the game differently, so they want to try in different weapons. No, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. They don't want it to be ending up like Overwatch with all these different characters and superheroes and we all have different weapons and abilities and that. No, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. It's different to Overwatch. So yeah, that's that part of it, the multiplayer. But I'm pleased to say the multiplayer is one of the best multiplayers in 
recent time and recent memory. We can't. That's not really difficult because the last three or four Call of Duties, apart from World War Two last year, was boost jumping, wall running, futuristic crap, which I really didn't enjoy. So I'm glad, in a way. Black Ops 4 is back with multiplayer, really addictive, it's really fun and I'm really enjoying multiplayer which, oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually saying that but I'll give credit where it's due, the multiplayer is fantastic, the maps, there's 14 maps at launch compared with World War 2's only 9 maps last year and also some old maps from Black Ops 1 have returned and hopefully more will be returning and more DLC down the line but yeah, multiplayer side of things it's really fun, really addictive, it's a right good laugh with friends. But also, another down point is it's very difficult to get kill streaks and kill people. Like going on a two kill streak, two kills without dying, that's very difficult because everyone seems to go around the map together and you can't seem to build a combo up because folk just drop you. You like you start shooting first, but people kill you. I'm like, no, you sh if you kill somebody first, if you start shooting at somebody first, you should kill them. You shouldn't get dropped by the opposing player. So connection plays a big role in previous Call of Duties and also in this one again. I don't know if it's the connection of all those one meg warriors with a crap internet connection, um, which is another issue for another day because the internet in this day and age should have fast fibre optic broadband or any sort of broadband that's really fast and um, that's for a separate issue so the fact that the connection is always terrible I don't know if it's them that are crap with their rubbish connections it's very difficult to kill people on this game it sort of ruins the fun a wee bit but in saying that the multiplayer the standard Call of Duty multiplayer is fantastic really I'm enjoying it I'm currently Precise 2 which is quite a high level already because the game's only been out s since Friday early Thursday because they released it like a few hours early so I jumped on it and went as soon as I've literally been playing it non-stop so that is the multiplayer it's fun but there's a lot of crap that can kill you and a lot of issues with it so that's pretty fair I would say pros and cons there for the multiplayer now we're going to jump into the blackout mode Call of Duty's new battle royale mode so Call of Duty's new Battle Royale mode, Blackout, is back. It's got 10 years of Call of Duty history from the Blackout's universe. It's absolutely fantastic and very addictive with friends. And I recently got my first Blackout win, which was absolutely brilliant with one of my best and closest friends from school. Really fun, really exciting, really thrilling and tense towards the end of the game. So basically what happened was we both dropped in and every single ring we were in didn't really move much at all and then the last sort of building we just camped. One person looked at one door, the other one looked at the other door and yeah we got about five kills each and got a silver trophy for it so I'm absolutely loving Blackout I cannot wait to play more and jump back in and see what more Treyarch have in store for us but I don't want them to have too much change like within Fortnite how you've got your different seasons and skins I think that'll be incorporated in the Blackout mode but if it goes too far advanced with like different changes it almost loses its identity from the original game that it is and the original game at the moment is absolutely fantastic the map is a really fantastic effort it's just really fun and addictive to play by yourself and I'm actually having a blast because I've actually get into the later stages in Blackout than I was ever in Fortnite never won in Fortnite because in order to get to the top 10 you have to be fast at building and I just was not fast at building so there wasn't any point real, real, realistically that I was ever going to get a win in Fortnite because of the building aspect of it. Whereas in this, there's no building at all, and I'm thoroughly enjoying Blackout. I cannot wait to jump back in and play more. So now we're going to be looking at the Zombies mode in the release of Black Ops 4. So Black Ops 4 has three zombie maps at launch. You've got a Gladiatorial Arena, and you've got a remake of Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2, I think it is. And also a real other fun map as well. Now the zombies is really fun, really addictive. Get those weapons, those perks. There's no juggernaut for the first time ever, I think. So, which is one of the most staple perks in the Black Ops zombies. It really does feel like something's missing because it is an integral part of zombies. Having that juggernaut perk gives you extra health when dealing with the horde of zombies. And if that isn't there, then what other changes or what other things are missing? 
Now, don't get me wrong, the Zombies maps are fantastic, they are really fun, and there's a dedicated Call of Duty Zombies Easter egg community that hunts and does all the main Easter eggs on YouTube, and also just in general. Every time you chat to somebody about zombies, you, they always either talk about getting to a high round, which is a staple part of the zombies experience, or going for the Easter egg, which is also fun and exciting, but is just totally luck based because you need three other players and yourself, so four people in total, to know what they're doing and in order to get the best weapons and in order to complete the easter egg but me personally I'm not a zombies player I used to play a lot of zombies back in the day because back in the day all you did was get two perks get a pack a punch or maybe turn the power on so get guns get perks and get to a high round with friends that was really fun and exciting and you always try to better your high round training zombies in a variety of different locations but at the moment as soon as the first menu hits you it's very complicated and over complicated so many different things going on on the menu i felt overwhelmed the first time playing it but i almost go back to my mindset of okay get my guns get my perks try and get to a high round as possible and if need be just train zombies around in a circle in a big open area and hopefully you should do well enough to get to a high round and that is my main mindset for zombies but it's good but it's just no quite there it feels there's something missing but anyway guys, that has been my Black Ops 4 film review. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's anything you want to add, please let me know down in the comments section. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I've been PSG Gaming Scotland and I'll see you on another video. Thanks very much indeed guys. Bye bye.